and we are live. Who's going to be the first to join, guys? Who's going to be the first to join? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. And we are live. Who will be the first to join? Hopefully, guys, we're not messed up now. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Let me know. Can you hear me? Hello, I don't know. Welcome, welcome. Can you hear me now? Is it any better? No, hello. Hello, user. Okay, awesome, Yasin. Awesome, awesome. Okay, hopefully, it doesn't actually bug out again. Okay, but we'll make a start. Okay, let, let's hope you. It is much of it. Thank you, Adam, actually, for liking. Let's start. Is it all clear now, guys? Thank you, asking for liking. All right, let's make a start, guys. Yeah, because obviously we 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 are actually late now. Yeah, but yeah, it's quite late. Thank you, Thomas. By the way, for. Okay, we're gonna do this PowerPoint tonight. Okay, and then we'll um, and then we'll see uh, if there's any other topics. Okay, if you do have any topic requests, guys. Okay, hello, hello, here in Wilson. Hello, thank you, Thomas, for sharing the live. Actually, I appreciate it. Thank you for. Okay, is it better now? Right, let's make a start now. Okay, so using the calculator here. So, okay, awesome. Hello, Jack. Welcome back, my friend. Sign of thirty-five. So you'd enter your yeah. So you'd enter sin sin brackets thirty-five. Hello, hello, awesome, awesome. You thirty-five, and then if you press brackets close, press equals, and then you'll get an answer. Okay, you you you'll get an answer. Okay, right. The next one. So anyone got an answer for this year? Because I haven't actually got my yeah, calculator on me today. Hello, Henry. Hello, Hello Idris. Hello, Jog Samson. Welcome, welcome. Oh, there's a lot of us on tonight. It's obviously pretty late actually, but this is awesome, okay? Okay, so Tom has got that. Sounds about right to me. Yep, so 0 0.57. I'll take that. Right, next one. Work out the square of 6.5 times 10 to the power of 12. So, you would enter it as... Uh, oh no, it's just started again. It's just started. Oh. Oh no. Oh. What is happening? What is happening? I thought I was going to get out. I want to do maths. Yeah, I hate you. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, I know, Bella. What's up? Hello. Okay. I'm so sorry about this. I'm so sorry about this. So, so, so sorry, guys. Yes, you were alive, Tom. Right. Um, Padding, Parkinson's. Right. 
Yes, you share the accident. I said, I died. Yes, yes, you can. But uh, it, is, it is not responding. I like you, thank you, Jack, for liking.
And we are live. Who's going to be first to join? Guys, let me know. Can you hear me? Yeah. And we are live. Who's going to be first to join? Guys, are we working now? Is it working? Is it fixed now, guys? Hopefully it's fixed. Hopefully it's fixed. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, hopefully this doesn't actually do this actually again, guys. Yeah. I think I think there is an issue here. So my actual device. I see my small 40, I know, yeah, yeah. Trust me, Jack. Trust me, yeah. Right, they are the answers, guys. Yeah, so they are the answers. Okay, you're on there, okay. I think, yeah, I think there is an issue with my charger. My actual charger is not charging very well. So I think after a while... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I think there is an issue with my charger, guys. I apologise. There wasn't enough holy water. <laughs> guys, some of these comments are killing me. I to stop laughing here. Someone said the comment... Jackson, can I go to the toilet? <laughs> My man. Right, okay, sorry, right, right, let's make a start, okay. So, first question, okay, right, how many textbooks costing £4 can be bought with £300? Again, so just a quick division, so we do 300 divided by 14. If we bring that into our calculator, we will get an answer of something. I believe yeah, it's twenty one point something here, if I'm not mistaken. No. Yep, spot on, Thomas. Yes. Spot on. Going back to year six. So, no, no, this, this is like, like our revision shift for the foundation tier. Okay. Okay, we got the past three. I can't stop laughing, sir. I can't stop laughing. Okay, spot on. Okay, so I can only afford 21. 21 textbooks. Okay, so that is the answer for that one. Okay, let's move on. Okay, there we go. Right, this one, nice and easy, I think, here. We'll just do obviously quickly here. Okay, so Ron buys two pens, three pencils, and a ruler. How much change will he get from five pounds? So we do two lots of 20p plus three lots of 15p plus 45p. So that'll be... Forty P plus forty five P plus forty five P so that'll be ninety P plus forty P. Yes, that's true, Jack. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Unless your cat eats it, I'm done. Sorry. Okay. So five pounds take away hopefully let's get it right. <laughs> I can't stop laughing, sorry guys, I apologize. So two pens, that's gonna be forty P plus ninety, so it's gonna be one pound thirty. So if you bring that into our calculator, we'll get an answer of um three pound seventy, if I'm not mistaken. No. Hello, Mr. Ali. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Guys, if you're around there, make sure you give us a follow, guys, please, okay, if you can. There we go. How do you play FPL? What what is FPL, Jack? Is it appropriate? Oh, thank you so much, Thomas, for the follow. Thank you so much, Thomas, for the follow. I fancy if I mean, no, I don't actually, I don't. I'm not, at the minute, I haven't actually got like a games console, but I'm looking at buying a games console soon, okay? Yeah, one game, one game we can never do it again. <laughs> Uh, no, fair enough. Right, Danny thinks 6 plus 3 squared is 81. Explain why Danny is wrong. Because 3 squared is going to be 9. Okay, 6 plus 9. 
which is equal to 15. Okay, 15 doesn't equal 81. So, yeah. Okay. Danny is wrong. Okay. You don't do 6 plus 3 and then square it. My man can do this. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. How broke did you get that wrong? Sorry, sorry. I'll stop laughing. Quick sell. Guys, this, this, this live year has probably had like the most views so far. <laughs> I'll stop laughing. Okay. But Danny makes mistakes, yeah? Danny wasn't following AMT on TikTok, hence why she flopped lads, okay? Make sure all you lads are following me on TikTok, otherwise you'll end up like Daddy. <laughs> must be year three, sorry. Okay, right guys, this is easy, I know guys, yeah, but this is obviously revision for the foundation to okay, but it will be appropriate for you. Okay, so quickly, guys, so you're given the output and you've got to work out the input. So we do 12 subtract 9. And then we multiply that by 3. Okay. Well, I'm going to follow this. Okay, can we do grade 9 questions? This is a waste of time. Okay, let me, let me just finish this first, lads, yeah, and then, and then, and then we'll do some grade line, okay? I apologise. It's going to be nine. A what? Someone's book. Oh, wait, I've, I've made a mistake, sorry. Twelve times five, sorry. It should be times five, sorry, not times three. That's my fault. I know, I know, I'm sorry, Jack. I apologize, Jack. Okay, circle the integer. So, what is an integer, guys? There's, there's only three of us here. So, integer, yep, well done, Jack, yep. So, integer means whole number. Okay. That one there. Okay. Right, list all the prime numbers between 20 and 40. So just a quick recap, what is a prime number? Okay. So if I gift you... Uh, well, we we can do great now that she, yeah. okay, 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 why don't we just finish this shit, okay, so let's do some of the harder questions then, okay, right, this one's a higher tier question, okay, this one's a higher tier question, I promise, okay, so, he earns £18,000 of a year, he gets three and a half percent pay rise. How much more does he get per month? So be careful, at share. So this is a again a key. This question can appear on a higher tier as well. Which which exam boards are you are you all doing? What everyone's speaking French now? What's going on, guys? Right, that is your answer for that question. Okay. Right. This, this is another higher tier question. Okay. Okay. I don't know. So try this question. Actually, so, so 
What is the answer to this question, please? Thank you, I don't know, for liking. Hello, George. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, George. Thank you, user, for liking. Hello again, Thomas. Hello again, Jack. Right. So you want to do some grade nine questions. Okay, give me just one second then. Let me just pause this here. So I'll, I'll actually pause up actually just for a second. Hello, Zach. Welcome, welcome, Zach. Hello. Hello, hello. Right, guys. Let's do a past paper this year, because I know you just did a past paper, okay? I know it's actually late, guys. I actually put in. Hello, Lena. Welcome back, Lena. Hello, hello. Nice to have you on the call. Right, guys, we'll do some high tech. So you, 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 a lot of you actually wanted to see. Hello, hello, Lena. Welcome back here. Nice having you on the call. Right. Should we look at some of the harder questions then? Right. Question one, guys. I'll give you a minute or so to answer this question and then we'll share the answers. Okay. So write five hundred as a product of its as a product of powers of its prime factors. Oh, it's actually busy tonight. Why are there so many? Can I zoom in? Yes, I can actually. Let me let me just. Hopefully, that's a bit better actually. Yeah, okay. Thank you, I don't know, for liking. Guys, any roses here are actually welcome, okay? Any roses are welcome, okay? My target was actually 100 actually roses tonight, but it might not be possible. But any gifts are welcome, okay? But thank you, I don't know, actually. Thank you, I don't know, for liking. Thank you for tapping. Uh, Brian, welcome, welcome, my friend. Right, can I share the answers, guys, or are you still working it out?
Right guys, answers for these. Thank you, Testy Pass for liking. Thank you, Jack, for liking. Thank you, Gary, for liking. Thank you, Lena Drinks Tea for liking. Okay. Uh, can I go through it, guys? Thank you, Lena, for liking. Yeah, so, sorry if I feel this is quite hot. Marsh would love to be a it feels it's quite hot, actually. Okay, go on, Jack. Yes, what is your answer, Jack? So remember, we are, we are going to obviously decompose this. Yes, you can go through it. Oops, clicked off. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, I don't know, for liking. Okay, Jack, what is your answer, Jack? Let's just double check. Okay. So, to decompose this, think of two numbers that times to make 500. That'll be 50. And 10. Okay, or any of the two numbers here. And then decompose these numbers. Okay. Five. Let's just double check that, Jack. Here, let's double check. That decomposes to two and five. Circle five, circle two, circle five, because they're prime. Remember, a prime number has two factors, one in itself. Thank you, Jack, for liking. So two and five, locking them off. Okay, so now we've got two times two times five times five times five, which I can write it as two squared times five cubed. And that is my answer to question number one. Okay, so well done, Jack. That is correct, yes. Does that make sense, Lena? Does that make sense? Thank you, I don't know, for liking. Thank you, Jack, for liking. Come on, Jack. Well done, Jack. Come on. Well done, Jack. That is three marks in the back. Okay. I'll give you a few seconds here to screenshot that. Yeah, no worries, Lena. No worries. Okay. Okay. Five. Well done. Well done. I don't know. Well, well done. I don't know. Well done, my friend. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's move on, obviously, yeah. So let's move on swiftly. Okay, question number two. Again, these are classic NXL questions. Yeah, looking at some fraction work. No, but that's still good, Joe, Jack. Yeah, it is a good start, actually. It is a good start, Jack. Okay, so think positive, Jack. <laughs> Jack wants every single mark on this paper. <laughs> Unless he's not happy. Uh, question number two, work out one and three fifths plus two and a quarter. Give your answer as a mixed number. Okay, adding fractions. Okay, if it was me, okay, convert it to improper fractions or top heavy fractions. Okay, then obviously add it. Okay, I got, oh, that's awesome, Jack. That's awesome, Jack. Okay. Right, after this question, then, yeah. After this question, you know, we, we will look at some of, of, of like the later questions. Okay, is that all right? Okay. Hello, Amazing Grace. Welcome, welcome, Amazing Grace. I, I hope you're well. Guys, if you're new around here, please, please yeah, give us a follow, guys. Yeah, give us a follow here if you're new around here. But I'll do everything I can, Jack, here, to help you get a great knowledge here if I can, Jack. Okay. I'll do my best.
Okay, so adding fractions. Okay, so let's do this question here together. Okay, and then let's make it a bit more thicker. Okay, so one and three fifths as a top heavy fraction, okay, or an imperfection. One whole is equal to five fifths plus three fifths is going to be eight fifths plus. Two and a quarter will be nine and a quarter because two whole is, is equal to four um, eight quarters. Okay, then I can cross multiply. Okay, so times top and bottom of this by four. So eight times four will be 32. And then times this fraction by five, top and bottom by five. So that'll be plus Five over the product of the denominators, so five times four. Hello, welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome, free Palestine. Nice to have you on the call. So we get six, seven twentieths. Okay, thank you. I don't know. Thank you. I don't know for helping me out in the chats. So 20 into 7 goes 3 times the remainder of 7. Is that right, guys? Oh, 77. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yep, that's my fault. I apologize. So that's going to be um, 17 20 Sorry, I put this. Sorry, okay. That's my answer for that question, okay. The next question: dividing fractions, okay. So make this a improper fraction, okay. So that's going to be eight thirds. So eight thirds divided by six. So dividing fractions, we do the KFC method, okay. Flip, change. Okay, so keep the first fraction. Okay, flip the second. Okay, think of it as six over one. Flip that goes to one sixth. Yes, that is right, Jack. Yes. Yeah, either one. Yes. So KCF or KFC. Okay. So keep, flip, change, or keep, flip, change. Okay, either one's gonna be fine. Eight times one is gonna be eight. I'm gonna get. Better be real, though. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I can't stop laughing. Okay, 8 18 dividing top and bottom by um, 2. I'm going to get 4 ninths. And then as required, okay, as required. Hello, Chloe Lucy. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hope you're well today. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I, I like you guys are making me laugh tonight. I can't stop laughing. Hello, Ben. Welcome, welcome. Right. Five seconds to screen. Oops, sorry. I'm not saving that. Sorry. Right. Five seconds to screenshot. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate you helping me, Jack. Thank you. Where's Thomas gone, Jack? Where's, where's Thomas gone? Right, let's move on some of the harder questions. So a lot of you are aiming for that higher grade. Okay, so let's look at some harder questions in the exam. Okay, so let's try this question here. Okay, this is quite a nasty question. Ah, okay, no worries. No worries. It, it, it's actually quite actually late, guys. I apologize. Thomas, I don't know, Thomas, the guy, the, oh, there he is, back, oh, sorry, I, I hope I'm not keeping it, keeping it up tonight, Thomas, I apologise, my friend, I'm going to try it again, <laughs> no, 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 sorry, Jack, no, no, I'm joking, Jack, I'm joking, you don't have to, I'm so sorry, okay, try this question, work out the value of 8 27ths, 
to the power of four thirds. Okay, so this is looking at a fractional indice. This question is a grade seven, grade eight question. Okay, this is quite a nasty question. Hello, Manesh. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome back. Guys, it's so busy for like a Monday morning. No? I like it. I like it. This is good, but hopefully we actually we've got seven people in the chat tonight. Thank you, Jack, for liking. We've got eight people in the chat tonight. Can we get try and get to a hundred people in the chat? Hello, Liam. Welcome, my friend. Hello, M. Hello, Manesh. Welcome, welcome. Three marks, in my opinion. Can we try and get to a hundred viewers? Oh, no, it's going back down now. Right, anyone got an answer for this question, Ray? Back to the math, sorry. Okay, I don't know. You are correct. Yes, you are correct. Okay, so we take the cube root of the fraction. Yep, I don't know. You are right. Yes. So we take the cube root, okay, of 8 27ths. And then we raise this to the power of 4, okay? So you do the root of the denominator and raise it to the power of the numerator. So the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of 27 is going to be 3. So we get 2 thirds to the power of 4. So 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Welcome, welcome. Hello, pomegranate. Welcome, welcome. Nice having the call. Why, why are the usernames here coming out for me a bit? Obviously, different. I apologize, guys. Sorry, these usernames are. We get 16 over 3 to the power of 4, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Which would be over 81. Okay, again, this is a classic question. Okay, revise your fractional indices. Yeah, sorry, Jack. I'm so sorry. Actually, I apologize. I hope your parents don't, aren't going to shout at you. But this is actually good, good motivation, Jack. Is. It's good motivation. Okay, it shows you that your favorite teacher's always online. Okay, I've, I've always got your back. Right, I'll give you five seconds to screenshots. Okay. Five, four, three, two, hello Rhea, welcome, welcome, and one, okay, thank you Rhea for joining, guys, if you're new around here, please give us a follow, yeah, give us a follow, guys, hello Jack, if you're new, well, welcome my friend, welcome, welcome, I don't have parents, oh, sorry about that, Jack, I apologise, Jack. My grandparents. <laughs> it's fine. No worries. Some of these jokes are killing me, chat. Anyway, right, can I move on, guys? Give me some tips on how to revise from my year 10 mocks. So my advice, Ria, focus on learning the content. So focus here on understanding the content and practice questions on the Corbett Maths website. So do the five a day, try the numeracy five a day, try the foundation five a day, and try the foundation plus five a day, okay, as well, okay, that is my advice. Hello, Fuzzy Thomas. Welcome, my friend. Hello, hello. Oh, it's just you, Thomas. Sorry. Right, can I move on, guys? Right. This one looks quite tricky. Okay. So, shall we give this one a go, guys?
Thank you, Jack, for liking. So this is a circle dreams question. Okay, a classic question. This is where we close the paper. Yeah, I hear you, Jack. I hear you. This is a nasty question here, but let's give it a go, okay? So A and B are points on the circle center O, okay? So OB is a radius and OA is a radius, okay? This is quite important. DBC is a tangent to the circle at B. So therefore, this angle here will equal to 90 degrees here because we see tangents to a circle meet at 90 degrees. So this will be equal to 90, okay? We'll come up to that in a second. Angle AOB is equal to X. So that angle ABC is equal to a half X. You must give a reason for each of the of you're working. And it's worth three marks. Okay, yeah. Hello, my friend. Hello, 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 welcome, my friend. Hello, GC Maths. That's on the call. Can you explain why ABC isn't 90 V? Yes, I can't. Yes, so let's go through it. So, we're going to obviously be, yeah, obviously be very, yeah, very actually careful here. Okay, so. It's all of this angle, okay, has to equal to 90. So all this here is equal to 90. So, th so this part's equal to 90, and this part's equal to 90, okay? Now, for the purpose here, so BA is a chord, yes, that is true, yes. Right, so come back to you. So let's just obviously draw it out here, okay? So, so let's just draw it out here. That's X here, guys, okay? Now, OAB is actually what I call an isosceles triangle because OB and OA are both radii. So this angle and this side is here. So this angle and this angle are equal to each other, okay? So let's call this Y. Let's call this Y. So we know that X plus 2Y is equal to 180. Are we happy with that so far? So that is my answer for this question. So far, okay. Now, what else do we know? We know that this plus this, okay, is equal to 90 degrees, okay. So, what can we do here? Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. Hello, Tanisha. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's have a look here. So this is show that AB C is equal to a half X. So A, A, B, C. So it's saying this angle here is equal to a half X. Okay, so, th so this is what we're trying to show. Okay. Now we know that all of this has to equal to 90. So this angle here, so the angle in red actually has to equal to 90 minus X. Okay, so the angle in red has to equal to 90 minus X. So, what can we do now? Well, 
if we look, okay. So this angle here, okay, so I've called this one Y. That will equal to 90 minus Y, okay, so, so that extra bit there. So that extra bit here. Hello, Jack, hello. 90 minus Y. Okay. Why do I keep freezing? Is it freezing? Is it freezing, guys? Let me know. Okay, so, so far we are actually correct here, so, so, so far we are actually correct here, so, so angle Y, okay, if we actually read here, it would be 180 minus X over 2. If we just zoom out here for a second and scroll back up, okay. So, we're asked to show this angle here has to equal half x. So, A, B, C. Okay, so this angle so this is equal to 90 this angle here is going to be 180 minus x over 2 okay because this is the base angle of my isosceles triangle okay and to work out a b c okay It'll be 90 minus this, because it'll be 90 subtract y. Okay, so let's work this out, okay? So, we're going to have 90 minus, and then we'll put this in brackets, 180 minus x all over 2. Okay, and if I simplify this, guys, yes, so let's times top and bottom of this by 2 to make it over, over, over 2. We get 180 halves, subtract this, okay. So moving the bracket, okay, obviously, I'm being actually very careful with my negatives here. So that's going to be 180 minus 180 halves, going to be plus x over 2. Okay, because I've subtracted it. Okay, so what I'm going to be left with is going to be x over 2. Okay, which is angle A, B, C. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Hello, sir. Welcome, my friend. Hello, hello. Hello, sir. I hope you're well, my friend. I hope you're well. Okay, does that make sense, guys? So we got there in the end, okay? <laughs> so. Triangle, so yeah, so triangle ABO is, is an isosceles triangle because OB is and OA is both radii. Okay, they're, they're both radiuses to the circle. So these two angles are going to be equal. Okay, I call them Y. 
So each y value is, is going to be 180 minus x all over 2. And then to work out angle ABC, I did 90 subtract y because tangents to a circle, sorry, tangents to a circle meet the radius at 90 degrees. Does that make sense, guys? Are there any questions? Thank you for liking, thank you for liking, sir. Thank you so much for liking, I appreciate that. Okay. So I'll give you just a few seconds here to actually screenshot that. Okay. So five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to move on, guys. Okay, so let's look at a different question. Okay, again, another nasty, nasty question okay, for you grade 9 students. So solving an algebraic fraction equation, okay? I'll give you a few minutes to have a go at this question, and then I'll share some answers, okay? Hello again, Jack. So if you can't see it, you guys here, let's just see, let's see zoom in. Okay, so as to solve one over x, subtract one over x plus one is equal to four. If you're answering the form a plus or minus b root two, where a and b are fractions. This is again, yeah, another nasty, nasty question, okay? Guys, let's just see what can fix this. Back to the paper. So if anyone is unsure, guys, we've got an algebraic fraction. Okay, a little clue, okay, is to find a common denominator for the left-hand side. And then rearrange it is my advice. Yeah, well done, Jack. Yeah, spot on, Jack. Okay, again, Jack, this is a classic question, yeah, okay, for aiming for that grade nine, okay? is worth five marks that is a lot of marks oh there are people like sending like universes like this time of day that is nuts Right, guys, another minute or so, and then I'll share some answers. So denominator is just the bottom part of my fraction. Hello, are we welcome, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Okay. 
Because I'm living with guys here, there is actually dedication here on like a Monday morning. We'll do one or two more questions and, and then I think I'll call it a night here because it's just getting quite late. And I'm getting pretty tired as well. Hello, welcome, A. Hey, welcome, welcome. Right, Harry, if you give me a minute, Harry, yeah, I'm, I'm about to go through it in a minute, Harry. So if you just watch. Right, that's, can I share the answers or not? So this is subtracting an algebraic fraction. So step one, okay, combine the fractions to a common denominator. Okay, so cross multiply, so we do one times x plus one, subtract one times x over x brackets x plus one. So we're gonna have one lot of x plus one, Subtract 1x all over x brackets x plus 1. And that is going to be equal to the number 4. Okay, I've combined this into one fraction, okay? I'm not going to expand this. So 1 times x is going to be 1x. And then 1 times 1 is going to be 1. Subtract 1x. Okay. So on the top, that is that is going to cancel. So on the top here, which would be plus 1. So these can go. Okay. So I'm left with plus 1 over x bracket x plus 1 is equal to 4. Okay, I'm now going to multiply both sides by x brackets x plus 1 because I don't want a fraction on this side. So I'm going to have 1 is equal to 4x bracket x plus 1. I'm now going to expand the bracket and make it equal to zero because I'm going to have a quadratic. So 4x times x is going to be 4x squared. 4x times 1 is going to be positive 4x. Okay, that's obviously equal to 1. I'm now going to subtract 1 on both sides of my equation. So I get 4x squared plus 4x subtract 1 is equal to 0. Now, because it wants it in this form, I know I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula. Okay, because it's in this third form. Okay. Now, I know, obviously, it's a non-calculated paper, okay? So, I'll leave my answer in third form. So, A is equal to 4, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to minus 1. I'm now going to plug this into the quadratic formula, which is given to you on this year's exam. And I have X is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root, oh, sorry, what's happened there, sorry guys. So plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, yeah? Like it's 4 brackets minus one. Okay. 
all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 4, okay? Are we, are we happy with that, guys? Does that make sense so far? Are we happy with it? Are there any questions? I can see that. Why do you need to be the same? Because, Harry, okay, I've got a different denominator here. If you look, I've got an x and an x plus one. Okay, these two are not the same. If it was one over x minus one over x, that would work. But because these two are different, I have to combine it into one single fraction. Okay. Right, so let's just simplify this bottom bit. Okay, so that will be 16. Okay, 4 squared, yeah, it's 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay. 4 times 4 is going to be 16 this year. And obviously, because it's a minus times a minus, it makes a positive. So it's going to be 16 plus 16. Okay. All over 8. Now I can simplify the numerator, okay. So that's going to be root 32. Okay. Now, the last part is recognizing that I can simplify root 32. Root 32, okay, can be written as root 16 times root 2. Now, why have I picked these two numbers? Because when you simplify thirds, you want to find the biggest square number factor that goes into 32, okay? And that'll be 16, okay? So the square root of 16 is going to equal to 4, so it's going to be 4 root 2. Okay, so this can now be replaced with 4 root 2, okay, I can divide everything by 4, okay, so I'm going to get x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 2 over 4. Oh, sorry, sorry, over, yeah, over 2, sorry, not over 4. Okay, now writing this as two separate fractions, okay, like the top. Let's just change the color a bit. He wants it as A plus B, okay. So now I can rewrite this. as minus a half plus a half plus a minus a half root two and that would be my final answer to this algebraic fraction equation okay again that is a nasty nasty question here okay so do not panic yet i'm not sure how to do it okay I'll give you a few seconds to screenshot that. Okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we'll do one more, guys, yeah, and, and then we'll call it a night. Okay, so. Let us try another tricky question, okay? Let's try question 23 here, because that is quite a nasty question. Okay, so here 
are the first five terms of a geometric sequence. Root 5, 10, 20 root 5, 20, sorry, 200, and then 400 root 5. Work out the next term in the sequence. Okay, so to work out the common ratio, okay, I've got the second term divided by the first term. I'm going to have 10 divided by root 5. Okay, now I'm going to rationalize this. So times top and bottom by root 5. So I'm going to have on the top, I'm going to have 10 root 5. And on the bottom, I'm going to have just 5. Okay. This now simplifies to just 2 root 5. So that, that becomes my common ratio, okay? So I'm multiplying by 2 root 5 each time. Does that make sense, guys? That is my common ratio, so I'll call it CR, the common ratio. So to work out the next term in the sequence, I'm going to multiply this by 2 root 5. Okay, so being obviously very careful here, so I'm going to do 400 times 2, which would be 800, and then root 5 times root 5 is equal to 5, so it's 800 lots of 5, so my answer is going to be 4,000. Does that make sense, guys? Uh, we, we will see, Harry, we will see, okay? Make sure, you, yeah, give us a follow, Harry, if you can, yeah, give us a follow, okay? We'll potentiate in the future, okay? But I think I, I, I have actually got, like, yeah, like, enough mods for now, what? I'll let you know. Okay, that's the answer for that one, okay? This next one. The fourth term of a different geometric sequence is 5 root 2 over 4. The sixth term of the sequence is 5 root 2 over 8. Given that the terms of the sequence are all positive, work out the first term. Okay, anyone got any ideas for this question? Look, the first term, look, the second term. Third term, the fourth term is 5 root 2 over 4. We've got the fifth term, then we've got 5 root 2 over 8. So we can see that we're going to be multiplying by a fraction. Okay. So if I go two jumps, then I'm going to be halving the denominator. Because if I think about it, 5 root 2 over 4. If I times that by one half, I'm going to get that, okay? Are we happy with that, guys? But that's obviously equal to two jumps, so I want one jump. Okay, and to make that happen, okay, because it's a common ratio, okay, remember I'm sometimes about R, we'll have R squared equals one half. So R will equal to one over the screw, square root of two. 
Okay. Because if I multiply this by one over root two, what will I get? Let's see. I'm going to have five root two over four times one over root two. I'm going to have five root two over four root two. Okay. For that, okay. And then if I times this again by one over root two. Okay, root 2 times root 2 is going to equal to 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. So we get 5 root 2 over 8. Okay, so our common ratio is 1 over root 2. Or if you rationalize that, okay, times top and bottom by root 2, we get root 2 over 2. Okay. So our common ratio is 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Okay, that was quite a trickier and a nastier geometric question, okay? Remember, geometric series, guys, your geometric sequence, you are always multiplying by a common ratio, what? Does that make sense? Are there any questions? Okay, cool. Right, guys, I think you, because it is as you get getting actually quite late now, here. Right, we'll call it a night for tonight. Okay, anyone that's new here, please, yeah, guys, if you can, actually, give me a follow if you can. Thank you, CSG, for liking. Thank you, Harry, for liking. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, thank you, my friend. I appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you for liking, okay? Hello, Astrid. Welcome, welcome. New around here, please give us a follow, guys. And I'll see you, hopefully, in a different live, okay? Okay, thank you so much, dear, for actually coming tonight. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye for now, guys. See you soon.